two lost souls. Dampness permeates the night air. Across the water, in the darkness, a police siren sounds and a church bell tolls. The lights of the city flicker in the distance. Cold waves brush the stony shore, illuminated by the pale and bright moonlight. A distant boat horn groans and wails, and then there is a sound of ungainly footsteps on a muddy track. A container ship slowly makes its way along the river, watched by a middle-aged lady with dark, straight, shoulder-length hair. She is standing at the river's edge, slightly smiling, as if in anticipation. A full moon shines through the broken clouds. The wind begins to pick up, and it whistles through the trees. A lighthouse pulses across the way. The lady takes a breath and then walks away from the shore. Walking through the night and through the woods, the lady comes across an isolated cottage. She looks cold and her jacket is zipped up to the neck to keep the chill out. There are no lights on in the detached house. She pauses and then heads up to the front door. The moonlight casts a sharp shadow of the lady onto the wooden door frame. The woman takes out a Yale key and opens the door lock. The moonlight hits her face as she glances back over her shoulder before entering the house. The house has two levels and it looks in a well-maintained condition from the outside. She walks into the living room and switches on the light. The decor is modern and the house appears to be lived in. She turns on some lamps and the radio and then she begins to have a look around.